Welcome to today's BB15 Updates and Spoilers. Our house guest of the day is S. Dylan Sal, aka Susan. I'm sorry if I butchered your screen name, but thank you for watching. So, a little recap of last night, if you missed the live show. Howard was evicted by a vote of 7 to 1, and the show ended at the beginning of an endurance HOH competition. So Julie revealed two things. There are no have-nots this week, and the first three people to fall off during this endurance competition would have the opportunity to open a box with either a reward or a punishment. So, the first three to fall off were Spencer, Candace, and Helen. So Spencer's box contained a megaphone, which he has to speak in or through, whatever, um, until nominations today. So I think that's like a really clever punishment because um, number one, it's embarrassing, and number two, I'm doing the whole counting thing a lot today, I'm sorry. Number two, it's gonna be really tough for him to be sneaky if he's gotta speak through a megaphone. I mean, you can whisper, but still, you got a megaphone. Um, and I just wanna say, the novelty of the megaphone wore off pretty quickly. <laughs> Everyone was grabbing it and being like, Rah! shout out to blah, 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 blah. And then it was just like, no. So, Candace was the lucky winner of the $5,000, and Helen won a barbecue, um, and she gets to bring three friends, or three frenemies. So, <laughs> just so you guys know, all three of them lasted about under 20 minutes, and it was kind of like, for them falling off. So, next to fall off was Amanda, followed by Alyssa, and then Andy and Judd. So it really came down to Jesse, McRae, and Gina Marie. Um, and then eventually it was McRae and Gina Marie. Jesse fell off a little under an hour. Um, so Gina Marie was like, McRae, let's make a deal. And he was like, no, at first. And then she was like, all right, well, I really want my hair dye and I want my pageant crown. She was really serious about this. And McRae was like, um, no, I want my love shack. So then, um, I believe, after refusing multiple deals, McCray was trying to make a deal with her, and she was like, no. So then, McCray fell off a few minutes later without making any deals. But you know what? Gina Marie is not gonna make a big move. So, <laughs> I don't think McManda will be in trouble with her. But anyway, that means Gina Marie is the HOH. So let's talk about her room. She got pictures of her when she was brunette still, and she told this sob story about how she used to be fat and have braces, and how she overcame so much to be beautiful. Um, <laughs> it's a little ridiculous. She got a letter from her friend. She got her tiara that she was so excited for from the one time that she won Ultimate Grand Supreme, and she worked so hard. She probably stole that crown from, like, Honey Boo Boo or some other, like, five-year-old. Um, she got butter. Why? <laughs> she got snacks, and to top it all off, she got a picture of Nick, which she's been carrying around and staring at, and it's really freaking creepy. So, <laughs> Helen is dumb. <laughs> There's, that's the only way to put it. Um, so like I said earlier, she gets to pick three people to go to this barbecue with her. This is so Survivor Reward Challenge, it's not even funny. So much thought needs to go into who you bring on this reward because people are gonna be pissed. So she decided, okay, I'm gonna bring Alyssa and I'm gonna bring Aaron. And then for the third spot, she asked Gina Marie and Gina Marie's like, mm, no, don't bring me because I don't eat that much anyway. What? So, she declined it. I'm pretty sure she asked Andy. Andy was said no for some reason. So then, she decided, I'm gonna hold a contest for the third spot. Are you kidding me? That is so demeaning. So, the competition is supposed to be, like, impersonations of Gina Marie, and whoever does the best one gets to go to the barbecue. Like, I'd want that. Like, anyone would want that. So... 
Jessie is really upset about this. She was freaking out. She's like, how could you pick Aaron over me? Blah, blah, blah. I thought I was higher on the totem pole than her. Who you take on a reward challenge is very revealing about who you actually care about in the game. So Amanda decided she was going to tell Candace that, wait, back up. Remember yesterday I was like, Amanda claimed that Howard said something really disgusting to her and it was basically like, I'm going to F the S out of you. <laughs> That's what she's claiming he said. She went and told Candace that he said that to her and Candace was like, no effing way. So they had a little spat about that. Um, it wasn't pretty. But it got even worse. There was a screaming match between Amanda and Jesse. Amanda was all angry that Jesse was trying to flip the vote against her. And then she took it to a personal level and she was like, Oh, I know you think that McCray is the hottest guy in the house and you need to stay away from my man, blah, blah, blah. Rachel? So, <laughs> Jesse was like, I don't want to go to your stupid bachelor party. And Amanda's like, you're not invited anyway. So then they were arguing about who's the bigger slut in the house. Not my words. They were calling each other sluts. Um, Amanda was like, you've been trying to get with like every guy in the house and no one wants you. And Jesse was like, well, at least I didn't come into the house with a boyfriend and then cheat on him. So that happened. This went on for like an hour at least. This was an ugly, ugly, long, drawn-out argument. So McCray was not happy with Amanda fighting with Jesse. Um, obviously this makes a bigger target on them and you know what, it didn't stop them from a dirty time in the HOH. I don't understand why all the HOHs are willing to just let these weirdos use their bed, do God knows what in there with God knows what all over the sheets. <laughs> I can't. I just can't. So today, Helen was trying to justify the whole barbecue picking thing to Jesse, and Helen was like, why do you hate me? Blah, blah, blah. She's like, I left my dream job and my two kids to be here. And this is really just the line of the day for Helen. I've heard her say this at least five times in the last 12 hours and it's really annoying um so that happened um nominations are today if you want to find out who's going to be nom who was nominated because it hasn't happened yet check back later i'll put it in the info for this video i'm thinking it's going to be some combination of candace definitely candace and then either jesse or spencer it was looking like it was going to be spencer but after last night's events it could be jesse um, also, to look forward to tomorrow, in the spoiler, I'll tell you all about the barbecue contest and um, G Gina Marie impersonations. And also, this is a really big day, the MVP nominee will be revealed and the veto competition. So Saturdays are pretty much the shiz, which is why you should watch Saturday spoilers especially. So until then, much love. <laughs>